And hello YouTube, I'm back again with another unboxing of Loot Crate, and this month's theme is magical, and if anyone's seen the site, the first item is obvious, it's a Q-fig of, uh, Doctor Strange, I forgot his name there for a second. Otherwise I don't know what's in here, and I do like that they're giving us Q-figs now. I, oh, I didn't know that, the base has some detail, I'll show that off later. Uh, next thing is, well, it makes sense to put something Fantastic Beasts in here since the film is just coming out. Which I'm going to go see this Friday. So. Become an Obliviator, recruiting now. Every half moon of the month. I haven't seen the film or read the book, so I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it's their police force. Next thing is... Oh, that's why the box was heavy. Um, a notepad. The night is dark. And full of terrors. Oh, it's a Game of Thrones thing. I haven't been watching it, so... I is that meant to be the same person? I haven't been watching Game of Thrones, so this is lost on me. But it's a very nice uh, notebook. It stays in the sealed thing. Next thing is... The pin... Which I really like. It's an Elder Scrolls Align pin. I do like that. So it's obvious the digital loot will be something for Elder Scrolls Online. Kind of disappointing it's not a purely loot crate thing. Because I know that is the symbol for Elder Scrolls. Next thing is a comic. I did not expect to see a comic of Big Trouble in Little China. That's quite cool. I haven't seen this film in years. I need to rewatch it. One of six... So, if you wanted, you could hunt it down, there's only six issues. And it looks like the last thing is in here. And that is the book. So, not that many items in the box, but I'm quite happy with them. So, I will do my normal cut, get everything situated. It says instructions located, uh, instructions located in the magazine. So, I will see what you do with that. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here is everything on display, and I did the best best with the limited space I had. It's not that great, but yeah, here's everything. The Doctor Strange Q-Fig, with the very nice base, and I do like that that's not a boring disc in his hand. There's actual detail moulded in there, though I don't know if my uh, camera will actually show it. The Game of Thrones notebook, which I left in the thing. I'm, I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to open it. The Big Trouble in Little China comic, which I'm not going to open. I'm, I'm going to go online and try and find a version of it. Collectors like that. And the t-shirt, which I didn't mention before, is nice and plush. Try and get more of it on frame. Um, the box, funny they said instructions in the book. There wasn't actually any need for them, it's just a normal flip box. No cutting or anything. And it makes a set of shelves with potions and other magical relics on them. So, yeah. Um, I haven't actually checked what the digital content is. I would say this is skimming the price value thing. But it depends what the Elder Scrolls Online thing is, if it'll push it above. I think it's just skimming. In my eyes, though. I'm not going to use that, but I like it. I do really like the comic. The Q-Fig and T-Shirt are really cool. And I am happy with the box, but... With the exchange rate changing as it is... The box is getting more and more expensive for me. So, I'm on the fence whether this is a great box or a good box. But, I'll leave it there. I am quite happy. I I'll leave it there. And, I look forward to next month, which I don't know what it is for next month. I really didn't even expect to get this so soon. Normally, I get it a month late. So, yeah. I will leave it there, and I look forward to the next box.